Hey guys, what is going on? This is my here and welcome to how to actually put a start menu launch button thing on your map. So that means that when you you know when you actually load your mod in game, part of, basically two of the options on the main menu will be to launch your map in solo and co-op. So then guys, yeah, we'll be doing that and also how to compile and play your map. So here, guys. Um, first of all, then to do the main menu launch button, you need to. Well, you don't actually need to do this. It's just optional so if you don't want to do this then you can go straight away and do all this stuff here i'll tell you guys when uh when i'm doing the the stuff that you need to do this stuff is just optional but it looks a lot better and a lot more professional if you do everything so then guys what you need to do is download this file link will be in the description guys now it was made by someone well i don't know if it was made by this guy but um the, the person who supplied this to me was called zk zombie killer um you probably already know about him but yeah, he's a really good mapper, and he's got his own tutorial series on how to make your own custom zombies map. And yeah, he, he basically this file was in his description, and he told us to download that, and that's what I've been using. So yeah, guys, you want to download that? I'm gonna copy it though, just so I don't have to um, edit the original one that I've got. Now you want to replace map name, oh damn, caps locks on, with your map name, just like that. So yeah. And then you want to open this. Now, don't get confused or you're scared by all this code because it's it's not anything really scary or anything like that. Now, what you want to do is go down to about a third of the way down. And when it says Nazi Zombie Map Name underscore Solo and underscore Co op, you want to replace this part here with your map name. Now, do this in capitals because it looks a lot better in game because everything else is all in capitals. And, you know, it kind of like fits with the whole main menu launch sort of thing. Then you want to replace this map name here with your map name. Obviously, there it's in lowercase. So, one quick thing though, guys, is do not take any of these sort of parts away. Um, these like speech marks or any of the actual you know code, anything like that, because it will it basically it won't work. So you, you know make sure you do leave everything there and just edit the stuff that I told you there to edit. So you should have edited this text part here and the map name so you know all to your map name of course so yeah once you've done that you can then save it and um, i saved it using a shortcut that's the reason why i didn't go up to all the save and save as and stuff but yeah um so then guys next you need to cut that and you need to cut it into this folder here um in your world at wall root directory your raw folder and then into your ui folder you need to paste it into there um, I've already got one in there because I've done this to this like video now a couple of times, like two times before. But um, yeah, it, it had it had a couple of mistakes that I did in it, so I'm redoing it to make it as good as I possibly can. So yeah, guys, um, put put that into there. Now, once you've done that, you're almost done then. To you know, you, you're pretty much almost done. Now, what you need to do next is compile your level. Now then. What you want to do is go to your launcher, click on your map name, do everything as I've done here, and compile level. Okay, now it's going to compile your, it's going to compile your map. Now I've done this obviously several times, be times before, so your map might take a little bit longer just because, um, obviously you know it, it'll be the first first time that you've done it to that map. But of course this one it's already done it like this is now the third time I've compiled it, <laughs> so yeah. Right, so it's like that, do its thing, do its job, and, and once it's done, it, it'll say. Now, them errors there, ignore them, it happens to everyone that RPG underscore impact underscore boom. Um, yeah, it happens to everyone that, and it doesn't actually do anything. Um, pretty much every, everyone that I know, <laughs> or every, everyone that I've ever heard of, that's happened to, so, you know, don't get, like, concerned by that, because it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, well, as far as anyone can see anyway go to youtube underscore patch but or your map well so yeah it's your map name underscore patch and again to do everything that i've done there and click on power level that's really fast that to do so then next you need to go to mod builder now i'm just quickly just going to copy and paste this code out of here this code here will be in, in the description guys okay uh, instead of outbreak though it will say map name uh, you know, so obviously you've replaced that with your map name. The only problem is that I've closed the file that I had that I was copying off. Um, you, you know, I've got like a file that I've got like you know the KVPs in your know, for when I'm actually you know do, doing stuff in Radiant and you know all like notes and things like that. So yeah, um, copy and paste it out of the description. That line of code there. 
and let me just select my map name select these two boxes here select everything on here and you don't have to select every single individual weapon all you do is when you select that box it selects everything for you so yeah it's easy as that guys and once you've done that you then want to add that line that you've just copied so originally it's going to look like this this box here under under mod strings you need to paste that line it, it'll say here though one second guys so when you do it it'll say it, it basically it's going to look like that when you when you copy out the description guys it's going to look like that okay you cut copy that out of the description okay put it under under mod strings and put your map name there in this case it's youtube okay you then build your mod make sure everything's all selected in that box then two options are selected your map name's done and yeah it's pretty much all done that guys your map has now been compiled so guys we're now going to go into the actual world at war game just like this and i'm going to show you how it actually all works and that the map actually loads properly okay Okay then guys, so now we're over at World at War, you can then click on Mods, find our mod name, there we go, and now we just click Launch. Okay then guys, so now we've launched our map, you can see we've got the two start buttons here, of course you know you'd launch your map normally by doing this, um, if, if this is if you didn't do this part, uh, you know, so if you didn't do the um, main menu launch buttons then you'd of course you know, do it like this, like that, you know, just like that press enter on that but of course in this case we can just press YouTube solo take us to solo the map will then load by the way I've turned the, um, the sound off for this just so I don't have any background noise for the game so you guys can hear me nice and clear you can see we can buy the STG there we've got the mystery box fully working Pack-a-punch. oh wait I'm can't pack a punch yet um, so yep of course we've got a pack a punch we need to turn on the power um, just quickly kill these guys. The ball comes to that other window as well. It just happens that um, this window is closer for them to go to, so they prefer to go to the closest window. We'll buy some speed cola. Buy some quick revive. But all these perks work fine. Um, the only thing is Juggernaut can sometimes have, I think, it's three hits instead of five hits. Um, but I'll, po I'll post a video sometime about how to fix that. But yeah. It's never actually happened, well, up to now anyway, it's never happened to me. So hopefully it doesn't happen to you guys. If it does, let me know and I'll um, I'll post a video for how to how to do that um, perk fix. But as you guys can see, it's all working perfectly fine. Um, there is a little bit of a bug where, well, it's not a bug really, it's just where sometimes you can jump through the window, you know, if you haven't got it perfectly placed. But that's the reason why I've shown you guys in the, you know, when, when we're actually making like, the zombie windows. Um, you know why to place the um, windows perfectly like this because otherwise you know you can actually jump through in some maps but of course if you can do and you know you, ha you, know, you, you don't want to change the placement of your window just put a clip there you know just like we did for the box because of course you know you can't jump over the box anymore you know you can't actually jump like onto it anymore so yeah guys that, uh, that all works nicely so then let's pack a punch to the FG, just like that. There we go. So pack a punch is working nicely. Pack a punch to the STG as well. By the way, guys, and you'll have noticed as well. I got five hundred thousand points when I when I um, spawned in the map. Now that can be changed. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll be posting another video video with you guys on how to do it. It's actually really easy to do. Um, yeah, I'll post another video, guys, on how to change your starting points. But the best thing to do is keep it as it is for when you know when you're testing your map, and then of course when you go through, you know, your first playthrough, you know, when you're making sure that everything's gonna work perfectly fine, and then of course that's when you put your points to, uh, you know, the amount the amount you want your play to start with, because you know, if it's too difficult for you to play, then it's most likely gonna be too difficult for um, most people to play. You know, like let's say if there's a two thousand door somewhere, and it's really hard to get two thousand points at, you know, at that point. Um, then you know it, it's obviously the maps will be too difficult so you know you, you need to experiment with you know starting points and what you think will work best for your map but yeah guys um, as you can see it's working really well just probably just go and grab another box now um, if you do go into corner though you can see that the gun does go really dark 
Now that isn't that isn't like a problem with the actual map. That's just the light. Uh, it gets quite dark near the corners. There's nothing wrong with the actual map there. It's just if you if you want to fix that, just make the light brighter. <laughs> you know, or increase the intensity if you really want to. That's as easy as that. So, you yeah, guys, um, you see the map works perfectly fine. If you guys do want me to, you know, if you guys do want me to release this map, let me know. But to be honest with you, I'm not gonna release it unless you guys ask for it because, well, so it's only a test map, you know. <laughs> so, so you guys, thank you very, very much for watching this. Thanks for the support as always. And you guys, remember the the only reason why they're not coming to this window is because it's easier for them to get over to this window. So. A fix for that would be instead of having the, zo the zombie was about there, um, move the zombie over to that window a little bit more, and you'll have an even amount of zombies at, e at each window. So you guys, quite easy as that. So you guys, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you guys later.